BMW's new hydrogen engine could end EVs for good. What if I told you that the era of electric vehicles may soon be coming to an end? It may sound shocking, but BMW's new hydrogen engine could be the game changer the automotive industry has been waiting for. In this video, we'll be discussing BMW's upcoming hydrogen fuel cell SUV. What is so unique about this new hydrogen engine that has shocked the entire automotive industry? What are the advantages of hydrogen fuel cell over electric batteries and what it could mean for the future of sustainable transportation? So without further ado, let's dive right in. It goes without saying that the car world is going through a thrilling electric transformation. However, some brands aren't entirely sure that electric cars will reign supreme forever and BMW is one of them. BMW has been fascinated by the potential of hydrogen for a while now. Back in 2005, they even created 100 Hydrogen 7 cars that ran on hydrogen to fuel their V12 engine. And in 2013, BMW announced that it will be working on fuel cell technology with the Japanese automaker Toyota. And finally, in September 2021, at the International Motor Show Germany, BMW revealed its new iX5 hydrogen concept car that runs on hydrogen fuel cells, which use a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity, emitting only water vapor as a byproduct. And here's the best part. The company has already started the production of the iX5 SUV. BMW has also announced that it aims to mass produce hydrogen fuel cell cars by 2030, which could significantly change the automotive industry. But this doesn't mean that BMW is not focusing on electric vehicles. BMW introduced its electric vehicle in 2013, named the i3, which was a compact car designed for urban driving. The i3 was praised for its futuristic design and innovative use of sustainable materials, including carbon fiber and recycled plastics. In 2015, BMW launched the i8, a plug-in hybrid sports car that combined electric and gasoline power to deliver a thrilling driving experience. Since then, BMW has continued to expand its lineup of electric and hybrid vehicles, including the fully electric iX and i4 models. BMW is committed to reducing its carbon footprint and providing its customers with sustainable, high-performance vehicles for years to come, and maintaining its position as one of the leading manufacturers in the automotive industry. But let me tell you, it has not been very easy for BMW to maintain its reputation in the industry because the company was involved in several scandals in the past. Before we talk about the scandals, please like this video if you are enjoying it and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any videos from us. Let me know in the comments which type of car would you prefer, electric, hydrogen powered or your conventional car. Now, let's get back to the scandals. BMW has issued multiple safety recalls over the years for issues such as faulty airbags, engine fires and defective seat belts. In 2008, BMW was accused of using suppliers who employed child labor in South Africa and in 2019, BMW's head of purchasing was accused of insider trading. He was suspected of selling shares in BMW before the company announced that it would not make as much money as expected. Recently, European Commission fined BMW more than $1 billion for cheating on diesel emission tests. Despite all this, BMW is one of the most popular car brands in the world and now it is preparing to take on the market with its new hydrogen engine cars. So, what are the advantages of hydrogen fuel cells over electric batteries? Firstly, hydrogen fuel cells have a longer range than electric batteries, with some hydrogen cars able to travel up to 300 miles on a single tank. This is a major advantage over electric vehicles, which can go about 200 miles. Hydrogen is a versatile fuel that can power a variety of things, from cars and trucks to factories and power plants. It's a particularly great option for cars because it's safer than gasoline and lighter than air, which makes it easier to handle. Another great thing about hydrogen is that refueling is fast and easy. A single hydrogen station can serve up to 400 cars in a day and it takes only 10 minutes to fill up a hydrogen cell car. On the other hand, recharging an electric car can take anywhere from 30 minutes to several hours. This could make hydrogen cars a more convenient and practical option for many people. It is true that only a few hydrogen stations exist currently, but their number is expected to increase significantly in the future. 
BMW's hydrogen fuel cells also have several environmental benefits. While electric vehicles are certainly a more sustainable option than traditional gas-powered cars, they still require a significant amount of energy to produce and often rely on the use of fossil fuels to generate electricity. With the high demand for lithium in the EV market, it is a matter of time before we face a shortage of lithium. Hydrogen fuel cells, on the other hand, can be produced using renewable energy sources such as wind or solar power, making them a more sustainable option. No matter what time of year it is, or how hot or cold it is outside, a hydrogen fuel cell drives gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to driving. You get the benefits of an electric vehicle, like no pollution, and you can still use it just like any other car, including stopping for quick refuels just like regular gas cars. But this is not the case with electric vehicles because they lose range in cold weather. Most importantly, a hydrogen engine produces only pure water vapor as exhaust. In other words, it produces no harmful emissions. So you see, BMW's new hydrogen engine has many advantages over EVs. So, if everything works out just as BMW has planned, there is a high chance that people will start shifting from traditional vehicles and electric vehicles to hydrogen-powered vehicles. BMW's chairman, Oliver Zips, said that the next big thing in the automotive industry after electric cars will be cars that run on hydrogen. Zips says that driving a hydrogen-powered car will be really trendy and cool. And did I forget to mention that those who love the sound of a revving engine won't be disappointed because unlike electric batteries, hydrogen fuel cell engines can sound like gasoline engines. But what about the cost of producing hydrogen fuel cells? It's true that the initial cost of producing a hydrogen fuel cell car is higher than an electric car, but this cost is likely to come down over time as the technology becomes more widespread. The Inflation Reduction Act is also helping to spread EVs and hydrogen cars at a faster pace. President Biden announced that he wants to reduce harmful carbon dioxide emissions by 50%. Thus, the Inflation Reduction Act is encouraging people to drive cars that run on hydrogen, which is part of the solution to make our air cleaner and safer to breathe. According to this act, people can get up to $7,500 tax credit on their hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, which could make the cost of owning a hydrogen fuel cell car more affordable for the average person. So, with major automakers like BMW investing in hydrogen fuel cell technology, it's clear that the future of sustainable transportation is not solely dependent on electric vehicles. While electric vehicles have made significant progress in reducing carbon emissions, hydrogen fuel cell cars could offer a faster, more convenient and perhaps even more sustainable alternative. And with BMW's goal of mass-producing hydrogen fuel cell cars by 2030, it's clear that the battle between electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel cell cars is just beginning. So, are you excited about hydrogen fuel cell cars? Do you think they could replace electric vehicles as the future of transportation? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest trends and innovations in the automotive industry. Thank you for watching.